Alrighty, Simplifiers, this is it. We have made it to day 31 of the Savvy Sexy Social video every day in August, and this is actually my 32nd day in a row of putting a video out because I was really crazy and decided to do one on July 31st also. So starting tomorrow, I will be taking a much needed video making break for a couple of days. What I'd like to talk to you about today is less about organizing per se and more about the experience that I've had over the course of the last month and the video everyday challenge that I've been a part of. When I started the SSS beta challenge, I was relatively new to YouTube. I had just started my channel in May and I only had, I think, eight videos up at the time when I started. I now have over 40 videos on my channel with 31 of them coming in the last 31 days. So I sat down and started jotting down notes about the experience and I came up with five different things that I've sort of discovered on my own throughout this experience. The first is Batch recording is the key to keeping up with a video every day in August. For the first two weeks, maybe even three, I recorded a couple of videos per day on the weekend and that really helped to set me up for success for the week because all I needed to do was edit the video the night before it went out as opposed to record it and edit along with running a household and two young kids and back to school and running a business and working with clients. The last week and a half or so with school starting and just schedules, I was not able to batch record and it was tough. You'll see that my videos went from going out in the mornings to going out at like 10 o'clock at night because a lot of times I would be working and then coming home, recording the video, editing the video. At the same time, I was getting kids dinner and trying to get them bathed and ready for school the next day. So I highly, highly recommend batch recording as many videos as you possibly can, either before you start a video every day challenge or on the weekends or when you have a day off and are able to sort of get ahead of the game a little bit. I also highly, highly recommend planning out your month before you even start. I was lucky because I had source material available already. I actually wrote blogs in 2012 that were the organizing ABCs. So technically I had the source material for 26 videos ready to go and then I just came up with five additional videos to fill out the month. The great thing about having things planned out for you already is you will start to lose momentum around the middle of the month or about the 20 day mark. If you have a plan of what you want to do, it can make it a little easier to motivate yourself and to just record a video rather than talk yourself out of it because you don't know what you're going to do or you don't know what you wanna talk about or you can't remember what you've talked about already. So definitely sit down and come up with a plan, even if it's just a basic outline or a couple of words each day of what you wanna talk about. You can always flesh it out later, but at least have some sort of plan in place for the month. The third thing is one that I struggle with regularly anyways, but let go of the idea that everything is going to be perfect. I definitely spent more time editing my first couple videos or the first week of videos than I did towards the end. And what's funny is that I didn't really notice that much of a difference when I went back and watched videos from the beginning of the month than the end of the month. It's just in my head I feel like I want it to look professional or I have in my head this idea of what my channel's gonna look like. And really what this process became about for me is getting comfortable with the camera, getting comfortable with the editing software, and just sort of like getting a feel for what I want my channel to be. And so really letting go of those expectations of what it should look like helped me to just get the video made and get the information out there to help people, which is what I wanna do with my channel really. It really isn't about having all kinds of fun effects falling all over the place and doing all kinds of crazy things. That's not what it's about. 
One of my most favorite and surprising aspects of this SSS beta journey is the community that I now feel a part of. There are probably 10 to 15 channels that I would have never come across if it weren't for this challenge. And I have met people and learned things and just sort of gotten a feel for what is out there in the small YouTube community. And it has made this month so much fun. I actually feel like sometimes I would get more stressed that I couldn't keep up with watching everybody else's videos as I was with getting my own videos out. Which brings me to my next point. It is going to take a lot of time to do a video every day challenge. For me personally, it's about a half hour to record anything if you include setup and takedown, then anywhere between an hour to two hours to record, and then you have creating a thumbnail, and if you want an Instagram picture to go along with it. I recently started making trailers to put up on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you, Simon, for that idea. And then you need to upload the video to YouTube YouTube, write a description, research the keywords, put the keywords in place, add your customized thumbnail, and then after all that's done, you ideally want to watch a couple of the videos that everybody else has done. So it really is about a three hour a day commitment and I am not exaggerating. And while it is a huge time commitment and there are things that my organizer brain can't wait to attend to starting tomorrow. I really have enjoyed the journey and have learned a ton. So my parting piece of advice to anybody who is thinking about doing a video everyday challenge is when things start to get tough or you're finding it hard to get motivated to finish out the month, just make a video for that day. Get that day done, get that day up and get it published and then worry about everything else tomorrow because you'll find that when it starts to feel overwhelming, just focus on that one thing and get that done and then tomorrow you might feel different. Also, um, I will put some links below to the equipment I use. I shoot on my Samsung Note 5, uh, which has a selfie camera on it so that I can see what I'm doing or what I look like or that I'm framed right. I also use a ring light that I got from Amazon and I will put that in the description below. And I edit on Wondershare Filmora, which was actually a suggestion from the 30 Days to Better Blogging community a couple of months back. It's about $120 for a lifetime commercial business license and I love this software. As someone who is not a techie, I find it very user friendly and definitely gives me the feel that I want for the videos for my channel. And as for what I will be doing now that I've gained a couple hours a day, I will still be bringing you videos twice a week and in September we will be talking about organizing your family in case of emergency because it is Red Cross Emergency Preparedness Month. I will also be preparing for my upcoming lip sync battle with my mom's club, which is highly competitive and requires a large amount of practice and attention on my part. And I will also be playing the role of soccer mom for the first time this fall to my four and six year old boys. So thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. Congratulations again to everybody out there who finished the SSS VEDA challenge. And I will look forward to seeing you next time on Organizing with Simple Solutions. Until then, happy organizing and stay simple. Sees that I you did you see that fly? And then <clears throat> is Avon, can you be quiet, please? Thank you about my experience in the vi <laughs> that, that.